Thank you, Abraham. It's an honor. Um, so I've been focusing on my point of attraction, feeling joy about it, visualizing. I know it's in my vortex. And there's can a sense you feel of... a little bit of lack in that. <laughs> I can feel it's in my vortex, but how do I get it out of the vortex and into the bank? Yes. <laughs> there's a sense of letting go. Letting go of what? Letting go, I know that there's an aspect of letting go to being in the receptive mode. Letting go of thinking your way there, letting go of justifying, letting go, letting go of not expectation, letting go of anything that doesn't feel good. Letting go of any part of it that feels uncomfortable when you think about it. Mm -hmm. Esther said to somebody the other day, sometimes even when I know I should be thinking about that, I don't because I'm not sure that when it unfolds, I'm going to like what I hear. And so I don't go there until I'm sure. Well, now that sounds like procrastination, but it sounds like useful procrastination to us. If you're pretty sure that when you open that door, that you're going to have an argument with somebody, then don't open the door. Don't open the door. Open a door where you know you're going to have a nice conversation with someone. Yeah. Yes. Um, to be in the receptive mode. At like, how do I stay focused on what I want and yet at the same time allow and chill well, let's and get let into it come to some me? Some specifics because we've been talking about the laws and theoretical things. Let's do some practical things. So talk about something that you're having an experience with and we'll show you what we would do. Okay, um, for years now, I have been fine tuning, wanting a relationship in now my stop life. Stop for just a moment and feel how that conversation was set up. And it's all right. Everybody understands that and most people do that. It's like, this is my way of expressing in this moment how long I've wanted this thing that isn't coming. So think about the momentum the unhelpful momentum that you just stirred up by speaking before you isolated the feeling that you were reaching for. Now, it was a trick question. We sucked you right into that. But now, instead of starting there, think about what is an easy match for you to make about relationships. Not necessarily that specific one, but what is it? What's an easy match for you to make about relationships? That I'm attracting positive, joyful, healthy relationships into my life. Is that an easy match for you? It is in all other areas of yeah, my life. Yeah, but so that's not an easy match, was it? In other words, that was convoluted. That was a tricky match. That was you still trying to think your way to it. But an easy match is, there's lots of fun people in the world. An easy match Esther sometimes makes is, ooh, I'm really good with strangers. <laughs> and then she laughs because I have no expectation of how it's going to unfold and so I don't walk in with a bag full of marbles that are going to attract stuff that I don't want so what's an easy match about relationships just an easy match something that you don't have to try for it's just an easy match a simple easy match are animals attracted to you yes that's an easy match isn't yeah. it do you have an animal who lives with you yeah who a mirror a mirror is an easy match. What is it about a mirror that makes her so nice to be with? Uh, she's unconditional and we have a, a... She's unconditional. Now that's weighted. That's weighted. Did you feel how weighted that is? So that wasn't quite an easy match. She loves me anyway. <laughs> Not like the people I'm looking for. <laughs> So the easy match went south a little bit, didn't it? So what are easy matches about this beast? Um, we have An easy match isn't something you have to think about at all. An easy match just comes. Boom, 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 boom. What's easy about Amira? Um, the love that's there. Yeah? Yeah. Is Amira happy or ornery? She's happy. So wouldn't that be an easy match? It's an easy, right, okay. So you get the hang match. of this? Yeah. So give us some easy matches <sighs> about... Um, uh, someone uh, understanding 
understanding But me, now you're trying to easy. think your way there. You say, it's all right. That's why we're having this conversation. Everybody gets this. Trying to justify why you should get what you want is kind of the mode that you're in. You've already done everything that matters. You've asked, it's in the vortex. Cooperative components have already been gathered. All you gotta do is find some easy matches that cause you to stop doing that thing you do while you're trying to justify the thing that hasn't happened. Because in every moment you spend trying to justify something that hasn't happened, you're keeping it from happening. So you're distracting yourself from your normal pattern of thought by implementing a new pattern of thought, which is easy matches. Can't you feel just from what we've demonstrated already? Can't you tell when she's making an easy match and when she is making a difficult match? So make some easy matches or pick another subject for a moment where the matches are really easy to make. In my job, I always, the right clients come to me and it's, and it's easy. Easy match. What else? Um, right meaning what? Uh, where it's in the moment and it's we just click, feels... we get good things done. Yeah, easy match. What easy else? Easy matches. What else? I, I mean, um... so you don't know it, but by finding that easy match, you change the vibrational frequency around the subject that you usually are not finding easy matches about. So the blind spot in terms of my relation, in terms of finding that relationship. It's not a blind spot. Yeah, you might not be able to see it, but you can feel it. There wasn't anything that we've said to you that didn't make perfect sense to you. You never went, no way, Abraham, I, I don't think you're getting it. You knew everything we said, you felt it. There's no blind spot. There may be a disregard for the way I feel because I'm used to suffering like most people and justifying the good stuff that comes to me by convincing somebody that it's been a long time and isn't it my turn finally? But who are you justifying to? Who is it that's gonna grant you the golden key to your allowing what you want? There's nothing outside of you that's doing that. We used to say, when you stop doing that thing that's keeping you from what you want, what you want will flow. And then we say, every time you're doing that thing that's keeping you from what you want, you don't feel good. That's a clue. Well, that's not that helpful, Abraham, to catch myself doing the blocking or doing the blind spot. So you want to do the other more frequently about more subjects. You want to just get in the habit of making easy matches. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.